everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Oh man, we're back again doing another time lapse video and today we're making a super tiny very very small and compact medieval style village in minecraft now this has all the villager professions so we're taking inspiration from our villager profession houses that we did a little while back but now we're making it really compact and super small so let me let the music run and i'm gonna go ahead and catch up with you guys at the end i'm gonna have full interior all the villagers are gonna be inside this village and we're gonna have some fun exploring but really quick let's get some building done let's put the music up
and there it is all done hopefully you guys had fun watching that time lapse of me making this village now i also did a lot of other details after the time lapse we have interior i'm gonna give you a little bit of a walkthrough but really quick right now in the comment section i need a name give me a name for this cool village i need something cool but hashtag name like i'll pick the coolest one and i'm gonna name it after you guys thank you all so much though for watching but really quick let's do a quick flip and let me show you what's inside this village now the outside was a lot of fun, but the inside, oh man, I got so much details in here and I packed the whole thing with awesome villagers and all the professions are in this tiny village. But let's flip, let's take a look. Oh man, let's take a little spin though before we go on the inside and this came out so cool. I love the texture. What do you guys think of the texture on the bottom? The stones with the whites and then going into the woods on the top and the towers. And initially I had the towers really short, but I was like, as the buildings started rising up, I was like, you gotta get these towers a little bit taller. So I did raise the towers uh, with that little wood accents in the center. And this was so cool. This is awesome. I, I, gotta, I gotta do this again sometime, maybe a bigger scale. Let me know if you guys wanna see a bigger scale is maybe a five time top, bigger, I don't know, we'll see. But let's Let's go on the inside and we have this gate protected with the fence gates so the villagers won't just leave us if we have this thing uh opened up but look at this oh the, the the feel you get when you just walk inside look at that little tall buildings on the side coming up you got different uh uh, builds on on different sight lines that's what really just stands out different elevations as you come on in and I, uh, what i really wanted to do is have a village that almost every build has a different look to it a different block palette uh so sometimes i like making villages that it all looks cohesive like one builder build everything but i kind of like that all these builds are different they're kind of similar in in the way it's set up the style but the color palette's different all the way around some hanging bush some hanging lights some oh some stone bottoms were were the common theme but different types of oh hi different types of stone uh and different types of blocks that's the, what makes it really stand out but as you come on in let's take a look at everything we got the cartographer here so this is a cartographer's house a little map maker right here in the corner and it's very quaint very tiny very small got a little living quarter and a little sleeping area cooking station and everything on here on this side this little thing right here tiny little build this is actually the second build we did in here the inn look at that it's so cool we got a little inn right here oh baby look at this we got a little he's a leather worker but he's just um the innkeeper that's what he is uh and then as you come on, oh we got a fletcher next door as you come on in we got a little stairwell and then we got a nice little area for some storage and then it's a very small inn it's just space for two people really uh right on the top and it's a hostel because they have to share uh but it's super tiny super small and super quaint but i love it we got storage and everything i love uh compact houses as you guys know and i love uh, sneaking in as much detail as you can within these small spaces i love this little village though this is so cool now as you turn on here to the side we got ourselves a blacksmith he's hanging out on the outside walking around seeing who needs what and then over here we got a little spot you can do the pss, you know after you do the uh the you know the the whipping or whatever oh hi oh man you scared me with that ipad you look like nick fury uh but then over here we got a bunch of stuff <laughs> really cool things we also got a grindstone there uh and we got an anvil on the side as well now over here the leather worker having fun making his leather over here a little leather worker station we got a sleeping area of course and we got some extra storage on the top a little seating spot right there looking really cool the center of town has the bell and what better place to put the bell than in the center of town right and also up uh, right underneath the well of course there you go run i gotta test their I gotta test them out. I gotta see if they're going fast. Oh, I don't know. They're making babies and there's a bunch of babies hanging out. It's fine. I think they really wanna go into that library though. But before we get to the library, let's go into the bakery. This bakery is so cool. It says a dip down. You're not a baker, but you could be a baker today. Uh, the fisherman's hanging out in the bake. Uh, whatever, you're a baker. You're cool. But the baker's hanging out over here. We got ourselves some uh, smokers as well, some cakes, some cookies, some bread. And it's looking pretty cool. Uh, I did close off the top. There's no really way to get. Oh, you, you hungry? Are you the real baker? You just take it over for now? That's cool. Let him on. Let him in. There you go. So that is the bakery, which is really, really awesome. Over here, we got the library. Uh, as you come on in, we got a bunch of people who wants to go up to the library. There you go. Go read a book. Uh, but back here, we have where the librarian hangs out. I don't know what this guy's doing hanging out over here. The kid wants to go upstairs. Come on, kid. Let's go read a book. Uh, ooh, we got a bunch of them up here. The librarians are hanging out. Uh, we have ourselves all of the lectures over here. Some barrels, some bookshelves. And this is super cool. Uh, we also have some sleeping areas right here. So if you want to take a nap while you read a book, you know, or after, before, whatever. You know, you just you can do it. Uh, 
have fun. Uh, but that is super awesome. Uh, over here, we have ourselves the town hall. That's right. We got a town hall, everybody. Let's go. Now, back here, we have where the uh, the mayor of the town, which is me, hangs out back here and, you know, says uh, what, what, what he wants the town to do and stuff like that. Whatever. I don't know. Uh, I let them free range, whatever. They can do whatever they want. Free range town, baby. Let's go. But then up here, we got a big old storage hall. Look at that. Double chest everywhere. We got barrels and a lovely old ceiling on the top. Look at that. Hanging lights everywhere. And that's so awesome. Now, over here, we got a bunch of balconies. We have a little seating area out here so you can overlook the side of the town here. We have another spot to overlook the area as well. A little seating area. Uh, a little bit of a greenery, or you know, on the outside. And then over here, um, hi. Whoa. I don't know what's happening here, but it's cool. I'm leaving. Uh, and then over here is our farm. Very small farm, but it does the trick. And back here we have where we keep all of our extra farming supplies on the top. Every tower, hi, how you doing? Every tower has a sleeping area and a, and a purpose. So this is where our farmers hang out and sleep. Uh, and then over here on this side, we have ourselves a little uh, stone mason corner right there, breaking up all the stones and stuff like that. Uh, as we come around to this side, we also have a butcher's area. Uh, definitely a butcher, not a not a fisherman it's a butcher this is the butcher's area we got ourselves a bunch of stuff that he's uh you know he's selling food over here uh, more 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 butching area is this the butcher's butching is that how you call it we got meat people we got meat on this side we got a bunch of stuff here to sell uh then here's where the clerics hang out i don't see where the clerics are right now but this is where they do all their potions and and it's like they're alchemists right the alchemist area and they share that bed right that's right uh and then as we come on this direction we got the fletcher let's take a look and, uh, right there making all the arrows uh, all the the quivers oh you want to go upstairs go on in that's right and then over here we have the little sleeping area this is where it makes all the arrows uh, we have a lot of fishermen but don't worry I'm, i have a barrel condition i have to put a lot of barrels everywhere but that's fine they're hanging out in that spot and then over here in this area this is where the weapon smith hangs out makes all the weapons here we got uh crossbows bows tridents swords and we also have uh chinese stars it's very cool very magical uh up here is where the weapon smith sleeps and has all extra kinds of, of imported goods from all across the land in this area now, as we come around to this corner, we have more stuff. Check this out. We have the banner maker, a.k.a. the the loom boy um he's a shepherd but we don't have any sheep here so he's, he's the banner maker so we got a bunch of banners on the top and it's looking pretty awesome and then uh extra uh stuff over here is where the, the banner maker sleeps that's right oh look at those cute banners man we're a professional banner maker and then uh, not only that as long as you you know you 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 hang around the side here you're gonna see things popping up here and there we got a little reading book area uh we have um a bunch of stuff here we have um extra campfires over here we have uh seating areas every Everywhere. Also, we have a little spot for our animals. We have animal pens right here. And then also an enchanting tower. So you can do all your level 30s and everything over here. It's really, really cool. Uh, and I love this tower, though. This tower is very, very magical. Look at that. Uh, but things everywhere popping up all over the place. We have even custom trees in here. Uh, there's path everywhere. The gravel, uh, the, uh, the the stones, the cobble uh, leading up to all these areas. And everywhere we have any of these uh, trees and, and bushes, we also have some coarser, some pods. So you can see the life coming out from where the trees are at over here one of the last boys uh, is the toolsmith what's up he makes all the tools for the town right here we got pickaxes so that's what what is it pickaxes regular axes hoes hoes are hanging out oh you want to go up you want to go up can i um can i help you i gotta oh i can't go up to that um i can't really there we go go on upstairs they want to get into bed they want to go to sleep it's only one bed you guys share but over here you know they're just hanging out uh let me get out of here excuse me Excuse, thank you, thank you. I don't know what's, what's happening up there, but just stay down here. You don't want to go upstairs. Uh, and then over here, just a little nook, a little corner. It kind of blocks off right there, so we got a little more trees, a little more life. And just an area here for some extra bushes and extra flowers and stuff like that. Seating areas all the way around. But yeah, that's all there is to it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, man. Uh, again, the world download is in the description. Go ahead and take a look. Walk around, have fun, explore. Hopefully you guys get a little bit of inspiration. But this was a blast to make let me know again if you guys want to see more of these little micro villages and if you do this is almost like a little medieval fantasy style uh if you want to see in other styles what would you like to see a little mini version of a village it would you like to see maybe some steampunk maybe a little bit of uh, uh nordic how about something like a, an abandoned one like a scary one maybe an industrial one how about a little asian inspired one 
let me know. Maybe even a, uh, a desert one. Maybe a Spanish village version of this. But let me know. I'd love to make another tiny village for you guys. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. And I'll catch you on the next Minecraft video. Goodbye.